today i will talk to you i will teach you i'll try to teach you two concepts in literature uh, if you are coming from science and if you are coming from social sciences you might know uh, theories that you might use in your work but do you also imagine there are literary theories theories that use in literature i will talk to you about two concepts in literature the thing is that these two concepts you already know and one you know as in you have heard of it but i'm telling you you know it incorrectly the second concept you know correctly but i'm saying you know only half the story which means you don't know it fully so i will come to this topic but before that i want you to remember or like the one movie that you have recently watched you don't have to tell me just something that you have watched it doesn't matter which language it is it doesn't matter which uh, you know country it's originated from or whether it is old or new which character doesn't matter just think of a movie that you have recently watched do you have a movie in your mind now what if i tell you before you even telling me about the movie or any of the things i already know the plot of the movie will you believe me remember what i'm saying i'm saying before you even telling me about the movie or the uh, you know the characters or any of these things i already know the plot of the movie it's a tall claim you are not going to believe me but i will demonstrate to you in a few minutes remember to what i am saying i did not say i know the story of the movie i said i know the plot now what is the difference you usually think of a plot and movie as a plot and story as the same for example you come to go to a movie you come back people will say how was the movie after you say it's good or bad you say you go into details people will say say more you no know, tell me more about the movie you say sometimes you will say the plot is not very good or the plot is very good but the characters are not acting very properly you say things like that it in order to demonstrate that you know about the story and all so but is plot and story the same apparently it is not plot is different from a story and i will show you how think of this situation i'll give you two statements two sentences listen to it carefully uh the teacher came into the class the students did not stand up this is a very you know a situation so one event followed by another event the teacher came into the class the student did not stand up now a story is a sequence of events one after the other one event followed by another event that is all the story is but in the case of a plot you also demonstrate what is the reason behind it you can say that the teacher came into the class the students did not stand up because they were distracted or they were disrespectful you also show the reason behind it you also show the reason why uh, the students did not stand up so if you see if you show causal connection connection that is uh, co that has a cause behind it that's the reason behind it so not simply events but connected events that is what a plot is now how do you distinguish between them that is because imagine that you know uh, now we know all of our names i am here you know my name some of you might know my name and i can almost recognize all of you so like the if you have the photo that we took yesterday and i showed it to you you can know each person in the group you can name them you can identify them. they are all unique they are all individuals but imagine a situation instead of the photo i gave you a full body x ray of yours will you be able to recognize yourself are you sure that you are going to recognize yourself will you be all different from each other so this is like plot and the story the plot the internal structure of any plot is the same any story it is the same it is a flesh and blood that makes it a story the story is different there are hundreds of thousands of story in the world but just one plot structure that is what my hypothesis is now i'll have to prove it so in order to know more about the plot 
let me tell you what a plot contains. This is not the, you know, it's a story plot, literature plot in the story. So it contains mainly four elements. The first element is the, is known as the exposition, in which the beginning of the story, get to know who are the characters, we get to know the background of the story, we get to know the, who are the characters, what are the situation, the current situation of the story. This is the first part, or what is known as exposition. We are exposed to the, we are made aware of the characters and their situation and the background. This is the background of the story. So everything is now settled and peaceful. A problem appears. This is the second part, or it is known as the complication. From a peaceful situation, now a complication comes, a problem comes. So from the normal situation, suddenly there is some problem. Now, this problem is now going to escalate. This is going to become more and more serious. Problems become serious and more serious. Finally, you reach what? A climax. You know this word before. Climax, you know. Climax, you know correctly only. This is the highest point in the highest point of tension in a movie. It is the climax. Now, once you reach the highest point, the problem is its highest. Where do you go after that? You can only come down. You reach the highest point, then you have to come down. So then we will come down, finally the problem is resolved. It is known as the resolution. So these are the four elements of any plot in any story anywhere in the world. This is what I am trying to argue. Four elements, the first is exposition, which means the characters are introduced, the setting is introduced, the background is known. The second is uh, complication, a problem arises, a problem comes into the situation. And this problem is starting to build. It becomes, the tension is rising, the problem builds and builds, finally reaches the third element, climax. Climax is with the highest point in the story, which means the tension is at the maximum. So from the maximum, then you have to finally go down. The solution is finally given, explanations are given, the problems are resolved. So there is a plot structure which I want to show you. Can you see this? This is the beginning of any story, starts with the exposition. Then a conflict comes, conflict or a complication. From there, the action rises. That's what the action rises. The problem becomes more and more complicated. Finally, you reach what is known as the climax. From climax, this is the highest point of tension in any story. Okay? From there, it falls. Now the resolution is slowly coming. Finally, you reach the solution and explanations are given. Stories are finally done. This is the basic structure, the skeletal structure of any story, any story that you can think of. Now, this is a challenge for you. I am saying this tall clay, saying that every story is the same. That is not very acceptable, no? You cannot compare Bahubali to, you know, Romeo and Juliet, or Romeo and Juliet to Hiran, or something like that. You cannot compare everything. So, let me give you an example. Think of the earliest story that you might have known from your very young age. The story of the hare and the tortoise. You know, the hare and the tortoise were friends. You know, they uh, were engaged. They, one of them said, the hare said, I am faster than you. And I am going to, we'll, we'll have a race to find out who is faster. Okay, they will have a race. The hare looks behind and sees that the tortoise is very slow. So he decides to take a nap. You know the story. This is the slow and steady wins the race story. And uh, the, at the, then the, he is sleeping. But the steady tortoise is walking slowly but steadily. And finally the tortoise wins. Uh, the hare loses. The hare wakes, wakes up and finds out that the tortoise has already crossed the finishing line. You know this story. This is very simple. This is from uh, Aesop. Is, this is not one of the Aesop's fables. Let's examine the story in this context. The first exposition, at the exposition you have the hare and the tortoise are friends. You know, it's a very uh, peaceful situation. There is nothing happening there. We get to know the hare, the tortoise, they are friends. We come to the conflict. There is a conflict between them. Who is much more faster? Who is the faster among the two? They find out by engaging in a race. They start the race. At the climax, what is happening? 
the hare is sleeping, the tortoise is still moving along to the finishing line. By then, the following action, the hare realizes that he has lost the game. He has, he has lost the race. This is what we come to. But this is a very simple story. Now, I will take you to the other extreme. The biggest story of all, the Mahabharata. Can you put Mahabharata into this structure? Can you imagine Mahabharata into structure? Starting with Pandavas and Kauravas. Initially, were they fighting? They were just cousins. They were, you know, simply there. You know, but one thing leads to the other. There are problems there. The conflict arises. Finally, leading to the climax. What is the climax in Mahabharata? The Kurukshetra War. At the Kurukshetra War, lots of fights are happening. Then it finally falls down. The Pandavas win. We have the story. So, it doesn't matter uh, which, you know, the, the story is simple or the story is very complex. We have this internal plot structure which is applicable to whichever story you can think of. But the problem is that in modern movies and novels, this order may not be followed. So that one movie might start with a climax. It can start with a climax. For example, there is a movie in Hollywood. It's an old movie. It starts with the main character dead. Then he goes back to the reverse. So that can happen. But this is the structure. The structure can change. But if you follow this line, if you follow this path, it is known as a linear plot. You might have heard that. A linear plot, which means a straightforward line. Now, as a demonstration, I want you to recall the movie that you uh, had in your mind and try to connect it with the diagram that I have given you. Starting with the exposition. How did the movie start? Did it start with the exposition or did it start with the resolution or climax? And what happens after that? Does there, is a problem arriving? Is there a problem that is happening there? Does it go up? Is, does the problem escalate till it reaches a climax and finally leads to the solution? Is this how your movie is working? Is this the structure of your movie? So did I prove my hypothesis? Not really. Tell me about your movie. That's also because we might have several subplots. Along with the main plot, we'll have subplots to make it interesting. We cannot have a simple story. We cannot have the same story. So we'll have what is known as a subplot, a plot inside a plot. That also might happen. But mostly, this is how the story is structured. I hope you understood it. You can do it with other movies that you watch, other novels that you have watched. Thank you. I hope you understood this class.